Hello everybody, welcome to Simplified in 5. Today we are going to talk about type ID in C++. So let's first see what is a type ID. It's an operator defined in type info.h header. It's simply a method which returns type info structure. This structure is used to query the information of a type. Thus you can find out the static type as well as dynamic type uh, of a given object. Uh, but to find out the dynamic type, the object must be a polymorphic type with virtual functions. So let's see a simple example. So here you can see there are two classes, class employee and class manager. So manager is derived from employee and both of them have a simple method called as get salary and uh, manager class has an extra method called as manage people. So in your main, uh, let's say you have two pointers emp1 and emp2. One of them is pointing to employee and the emp2 that is the other pointer is have pointing to manager class object. So when you use type ID to uh, compare the types uh, to find out uh, whether EMP1 or EMP2 is actually pointing to manager and depending on that let's say you want to call the manage people method on, on it. So the type ID uh, comparison here for manager and EMP1 as well as type ID uh, of manager is not same as uh, EMP2 and both the comparisons fail because uh, both EMP and manager class don't have any virtual methods. So basically, uh, the type ID fails to find out the dynamic type of EMP1 as well as EMP2 because they are not a uh, polymorphic types with virtual function. So here uh, in the next slide, you can see if uh, EM employee and manager have a virtual method called as get salary, then you can find out the dynamic type of EMP1 as well as EMP2 and uh, here is you can see that the second comparison of type IDs of manager as well as EMP2 that succeeds and you can find out that and you can be sure that EMP2 is actually pointing to a object of manager class at runtime and you can call manage people method on that so this is how you can use type ID to find out the dynamic type of the object or a pointer <laughs> So here you can see an example of a bad type ID exception uh, which is thrown. Uh, let's say you have a pointer P which is a null pointer and if you try to find out the type ID uh, by dereferencing that, that null pointer you get an exception of exception of type uh, bad type ID. So this is again a simple example. Now let's see five key things that you should be knowing about type ID. So it basically returns a structure of uh, type. Uh, std colon colon type info and some members of this structure are implementation defined uh, like name method and it cannot be relied on uh, across compilers to be consistent so when you use this name method in vc++ compiler and on the g++ compiler uh, you get different methods so you need to do some filtering for uh, results on uh, g++ compiler <laughs> so when you apply uh, this type id uh, to an expression of polymorphic type evaluation of the type ID expression uh, evolves runtime overhead, be overhead because it actually goes through the virtual table lookup. So uh, when the type ID expression is resolved, like it is resolved at uh, compile time, uh, that is that happens basically for non-polymorphic times, and that's a constant time operation. Uh, so uh, the fourth important thing is if the type ID is used. Uh, on an expression obtained by dereferencing a pointer uh, which could be null then type ID throws the exception of type bad type ID and that's what we uh, saw the example of <laughs> and in the end you should be knowing that overuse of type ID should be avoided because it results in a lot of branch code and uh, hence should it, it should be avoided although it's a powerful feature it has its cons too so alternatives like templates, virtual functions, double dispatch like in visitor design pattern, uh, those should be come considered. So basically these are the uh, five key things uh, we should be knowing about type ID. So thanks for watching and hope this helps.